All right. Well, let's see. I, I'm sure you can spit this back at me, but you know, hit me with the stats. You know, the things uh, that are great about the blacklist. You know, who's gotten you know nominated and all this. I, I, I find that stuff fascinating. Yeah. You know, I think I, I think I mentioned it on a previous conversation. Um, but so, uh, over 500 scripts have been on the blacklist uh, since its inception. Um, of those, over 200 have been produced. Um, those movies have made over 15 billion dollars in worldwide box office. Um, and that number continues to go up on a weekly basis, given the numbers that have come out. Um, there are, let's see, 145 Oscar nominations from those movies, 25 wins, uh, two of the last four best pictures, uh, both Slumdog Millionaire and The King's Speech were blacklist scripts, five of the last ten screenwriting Oscars were blacklist scripts, and there are a number of uh, screenplays uh, in this year's Oscar race, in this year's awards uh, race, that, that are blacklist scripts. Uh, Warm Springs, Argo, The Impossible, Django Unchained are all things that people were talking about uh, as being likely nominees in various categories, amongst them writing and best picture. Okay, so I, I got a proposal for you, because right now, as I understand it, the writers don't find out until the list is released, correct? That is correct. All right, so, so here's my idea. You, me, a camera crew, we go to their houses, we do the prize patrol, we wake them up at five in the morning, we'll, you know, we'll go over, we pound on Max Landis' door, we scream up the you know, Diablo's you know, window there. Haven't you ever wanted to scream like, Diablo! At like five in the morning at a second, third story window. I've definitely heard worse ideas. You know, I get that a lot. <laughs> and and I, I do, since I've got you hostage here, you know, you're a development executive, sure. uh, and, and I just want to ask, you know, what do you personally look for? You're, you're reading for your company, you know, what would it take for someone to impress you? You know, for, for me, it's, and I think this is true for, for Blacklist Scripts as well, I'm always looking for someone to, to, to do something that I'm not expecting um, and set a high bar in the story that they're trying to tell and then pull it off. Um, you know, if, if for me, it's, it's I, I try not to sort of live by very specific rules because at the end of the day, I'm trying to read, I want to read a screenplay, I want to enjoy the experience, and I want to be able to imagine it as a movie that will not only be successful commercially, but won't make me a laughing stock amongst my friends for having made it. Um, and, but for, for writers, in terms of reading general samples, but also reading uh, to, to you know, consider for, for production, it's really about uh, do something that, that leaves me in awe. Um, and elicits an emotional response, whether it be laughter or, or, or sadness or, or awe. Um, and, um, and yeah, you do that, you're, you're probably going to be okay. So, so tell us, you know, where can we find the blacklist? You know, let us know where we can get, get you on the information superhighway and all that. Yeah, we are on the web at www.blacklist.com, and that's blacklist with no vowels, so B-L-C-K-L-S-T dot com. Um, we're also on Twitter and Facebook, and you can find those links there. Um, and we're pretty active. Uh, we've got, uh, not only do we have our website, but we also have uh, two bloggers uh, that we're incredibly proud of, of, of their involvement in the Blacklist family. Uh, Scott Myers at Go Into the Story and, uh, and Xander Bennett who does uh, Screenwriting Tips You Hack. Yeah, yeah, excellent bloggers indeed. Uh, all right, well, well, you know, thank you for being with us today again, Franklin. You know, good to see you again and eagerly awaiting the new list's release. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.